Either my scale was playing an April Fool's joke on me, or I was running in my sleep, or someone cut off my arm in my sleep, I don't know. But as you can see, I lost 4.2 pounds overnight. Uh, today is Friday, I weighed myself this morning just like I do every day. You guys saw my full day of eating video, which was yesterday, that I weighed in at 155.4 pounds, I believe. This morning, I slept on the scale, and it kept on saying I was 151.2 pounds. You guys even saw me grab the shampoo and conditioner bottles, which were pretty heavy, and get on the scale with those. I got on the scale with that twice, and both times it read 154 point something. I know I, I would step back on the scale just to make sure, because that was a huge drop. Um, water and sodium intake has stayed consistent, as it always has. I mean, I drink a gallon and a half of water for months, so that hasn't changed in for, I don't know, how long and sodium is always relatively the same I don't really worry about that too much I don't try to cut it in any way so I placed up on the scale six or seven times just to make sure one time it did read 152.4 pounds I believe but it was consistently saying 151.2 so I'm gonna go with that today maybe it was an April Fool's joke whatever the scale was doing something maybe it was off a little bit but I'll show you guys what my weight is tomorrow see if it changes if it goes back to 155 at all or if that's what I am I'm really not sure but just wanted to show you guys that how weight can really fluctuate and it's kind of funny because I said I was going to pick up the intensity and pick up the uh, cardio, but I didn't even do cardio yesterday, so that's it's kind of throwing me off a little bit, but it is what it is. And for cardio, today is going to be my second session of doing 300 calories burned. That'll be my third total session of cardio. I'll get my fourth session this weekend, and we'll just see if that has anything to do with it. Not really sure, but you know, keeping track of everything, writing all of this down and how my weight fluctuates. Scale is just there for a number, but all, at the end of the day, it comes down to how you feel. And you know, if you're noticing any cuts or anything like that, abs are you know, starting to pop out more. Focus on that more than just the number. Numbers is there for a guideline. But anyway, today is Friday. You guys saw my full day of eating video. Hopefully you enjoyed that, but Friday, we have cardio, like I said, abs and legs. Now, as you can tell, I'm not at retro, so that means I will not be squatting. The reason I did that one is for time, save money on gas, and my quads are still pretty sore, so the focus up today's legs, leg day will be calves and hamstrings. I haven't hit calves in about a week, so definitely gonna do that. And then just hamstrings because those aren't sore. So do a few exercises with that. Kinda have to get in and out, so leg session will probably be about half an hour to half an hour of cardio and about 15, 20 minutes of abs. So get in and out. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Thank you for all the great support. Let me show you the updated numbers for the giveaway. So as of 11.40 on April 1st, Friday, we're at 1,988 followers on Instagram. Make sure you guys go and follow me on that. And for YouTube, it looks like we are at 491. So, 491, so nine away from 500. So I'm thinking the vi a video this weekend, maybe Mon well, Monday will be a recap video. Maybe in the next few days, there will be information about the giveaway. So make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Let you know, let your friends know about all of this. Follow me on Instagram and subscribe to YouTube. And we'll get to that giveaway. And I'll see you guys later in the video. Cardio kicked my butt today. Quick workout, it's about one o'clock right now. So, was able to get 30 minutes of cardio, which got me to the 300 calories on the Stairmaster. And then I supersetted legs, abs, and shoulders. I forgot that I was gonna do shoulders today. Hit shoulders twice. I only showed some of the leg stuff because it was crunched for time. 
Sometimes you gotta be efficient. Hang on. Sometimes you gotta be efficient and you know, can only record certain mess up so you get everything in on time. You know, I wanna show you guys everything, but on the other side, you guys already saw abs and a shoulder workout this week. So I figured just throw in a few clips of the legs. So super set at everything I did, a leg work, leg exercise, then a shoulder exercise, then an ab exercise. Everything was four sets and about 12 to 15 reps for all of it. So it was really good. As you can see, face is so red from it, but it was really good. Headed to get food from the cafeteria, which, you know, consistency is key. So every time I go to the cafe, it's rice, chicken, a nice big salad, some cheese for fats, all stuff that I can track very easily. Got my scale in my book bag. So I'll just show you guys the amount that I'm getting, but I won't go like through all of it. But that is it. I'll see you guys later. I'm so out of breath. Weather is like humid, but like muggy and rainy. It's supposed to get rain later, but we'll see. Good day. Keep pushing. Hopefully you guys are having a good day. As you saw, stuck to the basics for lunch. It is probably like 1.30 or so now, 1.45. Gotta go back, shower, head to work. But consistency is key, guys. Stick to things that work, and when you can, be flexible, you know, so you don't try to like binge on anything or break your diet if you are cutting. Obviously, if you're bulking, then go ahead, eat whatever you want, but try to be as consistent as you can. I do have a busy day, but you know, the rest of the foods is gonna be the same, like my whole day of eating. What's up guys? As you can see, it's been a long, long day. Fridays are usually pretty busy, just that's when I try to get a lot of my studying done. You know, I only have class on Monday, so I really gotta try to study for everything and get work done ahead of time, so that's what I've been doing right now. Work is easy because the kids are outside and I can just watch them from here, so I've gone through a few chapters in the book. But as you just saw, left the cafeteria. Keeping everything simple, weigh everything out there, not a big deal. It's all stuff that's easy to, to track, but just consistency is key, especially when you're cutting, try to keep things simple. But when you can be flexible and add different things in, like I did in my full day of eating video. You know, you can have some, get some rid of some of your cravings like peanut butter. I can almost fit peanut butter in my meals, you know, every day, maybe every other day. So that definitely helps curve my sweet tooth. You know, if you're bogging, obviously, you can have whatever you want. But when you're cutting, try to find things that will help you get through some of the times when, you know, you're craving something or you're starving, but you know, you can't eat yet. But that's really it for the video. Just kind of a busy day, so trying to keep this video short for you guys if my weight is you know low again then you might see a refeed video coming up so stay tuned for that we're so close for the giveaway we might need like five or ten more subscribers and followers so make sure you're sharing that with your friends but that is about it i want to get back to work actually uh dressed up today you can tell so it's like 75 degrees it may be 80 and like humid it's very nice so I decided to dress up today for once. I'm always in like gym clothes, but it is what it is. And I will see you guys tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern time, you can always count on that. Love to hear what you guys have to say in the comment box below. Love to talk to you guys, get to know you. So that's gonna do it. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And as always, have a great day.